What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Mark and in this channel, we talk about bikes, rides, races, and adventures. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. Now during this time that most of us are spending most of our time at home, a lot of you are starting your own channel and creating your own content. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you important things that you should consider in my opinion. Now the things that I'll be discussing will be based on my experience when I started out in YouTube. So I'm just gonna talk about three things, the gears, audio, and editing. First, let's talk about gears or camera equipment. When I was starting out, I thought I needed the best equipment in order for me to produce good quality videos. My mindset back then is I need to have this, I need to have that in order for me to start and create my own content. But eventually, after you know getting most of my equipment already, especially when I became part of the Next Up class of 2019 where I was able to get a new camera, meet fellow creators, attend workshops to help improve my content creation. I realized that it's not about gears. It's about your idea, your story, and how you share it to your audience. In short, you can start sharing your content or creating content with what you already have your smartphone. Now, if you're gonna do riding or bike-related content, you're gonna also need an action camera. All right, so when I started, I used an iPhone and a GoPro Hero 4 session. This thing doesn't have stabilization, but the picture quality or the video quality is good and the audio quality is excellent as well. A smartphone nowadays is a very powerful tool. In fact, the reason why I got this particular phone, an iPhone 8, is for the video quality and the app I used for editing. Since I will be shooting action shots, and at the time, the camera of this phone is one of the few that can do 1080p at 240 FPS. That's times 8 slow motion. Using the app called LumaFusion. By the way, this is not sponsored by LumaFusion. It's like having the power of Adobe Premiere in your pocket. In fact, I still use this software for my Facebook videos and Instagram videos. And again, with just these two, you will be able to start creating your own content. My recommendation, shoot with a camera that's capable of at least 1080p or HD. But if you can shoot with 4K, even better because once you upload it on YouTube, on Facebook or Instagram, the video will be compressed. For filming, I would also recommend the app Filmic Pro because with this app, you will be able to unlock the manual features of the camera on your smartphone. And it's both available on iOS and Android. Second is audio. Now, audio is something that you really need to prioritize because no matter how good your video is or how good your content or idea that you are sharing, if your audio is bad, it ruins the viewing experience for your audience. But you don't actually need expensive microphones when you're just starting. In fact, this iPhone 8 already has a decent external microphone in my opinion. And in fact, I was able to land uh, voiceover gigs using this phone as my recorder and the headset that came with it. Here's a sample video. At Fox, we want you to have your best ride. We want you to have fun as you spread trails. So we want to keep you protected from serious injuries. To have good audio, basically you want to avoid two things. A noisy environment and a place where there's too much echo. All right, using applications intended for recording can also help enhance your audio. For iOS, I use the Video Record Pro. Now for even better audio quality, aside from using the built-in microphone of your smartphone, I also bought the following. One is the Rode Video Micro. This microphone can be used for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and also your smartphone. I bought an extra adapter so I can connect it to my iPhone and use it as a microphone when I record my voice. I also bought this Boya lavalier mic, the one that I'm using right now. And to avoid unnecessary noise in the background or echoes, I would normally hide under a jacket or a towel while I record my voice. To show you what I'm talking about, let's do an audio test. Here's the audio with the built-in microphone of the iPhone 8. It's more fun on the trails. Here's the audio using the Apple headset. It's more fun on the trails. Here's the audio using the Rode Video Micro. It's more fun on the trails. And here's the audio using the Boya lavalier mic. It's more fun on the trails. 
And lastly, let's talk about editing. A lot of my friends are really hesitant in starting their own content or starting their own channel because they don't know how to edit videos. You can actually learn this by watching videos online. Like in YouTube, there are hundreds of tutorials that will help you to learn the basics of video editing. To really simplify it, it's actually just knowing where to cut and what video to put after that cut. But if you want an even better option, well, let me talk about the sponsor of this video. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people like you and me, or curious people who simply wants to learn a new skill and deepen their existing passions. With topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and even cooking. So for the topic of this video, if you want to enhance your editing skills, learn the basics or even advanced techniques using Adobe Premiere for example. Skillshare is perfect for you because the classes are actually done by successful industry professionals. And one of the good thing about it is that most classes are under 60 minutes with shorter lessons to fit any schedule. Now for me, one of the things that I need to improve on when it comes to video editing is color grading. So right now, I'm actually taking a class called How to Color Grade by Will Barlett. I find this class very helpful because aside from just listening and watching, sample footages are provided so that you can actually follow along as it is being shown. So for a limited time, use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. With Premium Membership, you'll have access to all of the classes available in Skillshare. And if you like it, it's only almost $10 a month with an annual subscription. Now for me, that's a great deal for having unlimited access to classes that are designed for real-life applications. So go ahead and try it out after this video. So there you go. Those are the important things that I think that you should know in order to make content and start your own channel. So if you have awesome ideas to share but you only have a cell phone and probably an action camera, let me tell you that is actually enough. To give you an example, here's a video I made using my iPhone 8 and my GoPro Hero 7 Black. I hope this video entertained you or has helped you in any way. And if you think someone you know needs to watch this and have the opportunity to learn through Skillshare, share them this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.